Welcome all of you to Mainstay Abroad and today we have got a very nice topic about ILTS Tax 2 writing band descriptors. This public version and here in this version we, we have given you the topic and uh, also we have shared with you very nice important content and we have given the link also you can follow and download it. So let's discuss about it. This descriptors is given by British Council and IDP Australia ILTS and University of Cambridge is all examination. So before that I want to draw your attention about uh, criteria to access learners writing and there are a few points most of examiners examiners they focus on this part one is talks achievement then effect on the readers appropriacy of style of uh, genre organization cohesion punctuation range of range and complexity of lexis range and complexity of grammar accuracy of lexis accuracy of grammar accuracy of spelling these are very important assessment criteria where examiners are going to focus on this part and now you need to understand the scoring types of ilts writing and this topic is given and information is given by most of the experts and professionals and best of examiners of ilts there are three things you need to understand over here one is impression scoring this is your uh, examiners impose their view to the text and the band descriptors that we are going to discuss today about it in details and text best evaluation a quick impression on the assigning a grade and rubric best evaluation read the rubric first before assigning a grade about your heading and conclusion is very important you need to understand the paraphrasing and uh, paragraphing and rephrasing skill now you need to understand about when you are given answer sheet in this answer sheet of paper the first heading would be such so here you are going to fill it up your uh, candidates name then center's name candidates number your you have to choose whether you belong to academic or general training then the date and end of the paper you can find examiners use only that you need to understand this ta means tax response so how you have given tax response they will just give their review here they will write the review on the coherence and cohesion lr means lexical resource gr means grammatical range and accuracy and you need to understand this point of view also what they are looking for in your writing they will also look for under length whether you have meet of the requirement of 250 words or it is under length and then and another one is uh, number of words and then penalty and uh, off topic memorize and eligible so this is the point of view of the examiners where they will give the review here now understand this top we have given one topic here and about 40 minutes you can pause this video you can write down these questions and also you can start to write to understand about the band descriptors and you can evaluate your own writing skill and or else you can send us or send us by whatsapp and here you can understand this is 250 words this is the actual the topic will be given will come in your examination and this is one module answer we have shared with you we want you to understand this module answer thoroughly and understand that how much band do you want to give to this module answer and what band score does it deserve to have according to band descriptors so you can understand the video properly and don't leave half of the way complete the video video is going to give you a lot of things and here let me tell you which is very attractive part of this video is band descriptors and this is a tax response and tax response tax achievement coherence and cohesion lexical resource grammatical range and accuracy these four points are your assessment criteria so you should not forget about it whenever you want to start to write first you keep it in your mind the criteria so here band one who deserve for band one answer completely unrelated to the talks if someone has written something which is not related to the talks will definitely score band one according to the band descriptors point of view an examiner is going to give you the mark in this way most of examiners are from every center those who are appointed they are given well training about band descriptors and they will only look for the band descriptors in your writing 
end of this video i will also share with you some fact about writing which are not known and uh, which are very important notes when i attended the program of idp australia and when i got my certifications in this training it was disclosed i would like to share that experience with you also and there's a band and two and band three and band four fine so you can give a pause and you can thoroughly understand the task response band five and six and seven generally most of candidates that target band five six seven eight nine or 5.5 or 6.5 or 7.5 so here you need to understand about your five band how you can understand about your writing as you know that there should be a formal writing and you should improve your writing skill according to the band descriptors so then only your paper will be well evaluated and you can meet up the targeted band so you can give a pause and you can get through this information also we have given you the link you can download the pdf <coughs> and here I want you to understand about five like uh, here uh, he or she addresses the talks only partially the format may be inappropriate in places if it is found in your writing this comment is found then definitely one can score band five in the writing of tax response so every uh, every criteria is based on 25 percent and now that is your band eight and nine so this is the band descriptors eight and nine let's discuss about eight and nine if who deserve for eight sufficiently addresses all parts of the tax and he or she represents a well-developed response to the questions with relevant extended and supported ideas so your heading and conclusions and your paraphrasing skill your paragraphing skill must match up with this information about the tax response so that you can score eight and nine is fully addresses all parts of the tax and he or she presents a fully developed position in answer to the questions with relevant and fully extended and well supported ideas that person deserve band 5 a uh, band 9 sorry band 9 in tax response now let's focus on coherence and cohesion and lexical resource this this format is going to help you to understand whether you your writing is under these parameters or you deserve to have band 3 or band 5 band 6 or band 4 so you can give a pause and you come to know about all description as i have shared with you so here this is the band 4 and 5 descriptions thoroughly you can get through it this lexical resources is all about your writing and i will summarize this video so you can understand the beauty of it and this is the band 6 and 7 and this is band 8 and 9 this is very important so focus on band and 5 6 7 8 9 which are very important aspect of learning and you should not put your eye out of it so these things is going to help you better and next one is your grammatical range and accuracy how well you can understand your grammar this descriptors is going to help you to understand about the grammatical range and accuracy as for these descriptors you will your examiners are going to evaluate the paper and you can deserve the band and this is for six seven eight nine and you can understand the nine uses a wide range of structures with the full flexibility and accuracy rare minor errors occur only as slips and you should understand most of the facts of this band descriptors so as i showed you the band descriptors of uh, tax response co coherence and cohesion lexical resource and grammatical range and accuracy there are few things i should like to share with you remember whenever you're writing you have to understand what kind of essay it is descriptive essay or argumentative or discussion based essay or expository essay or narrative essay then you need to understand that you are not going to repeat any of the words or phrases which are given in the topic so you have to pick up only the keyword and you have to paraphrase it so it means that you have to write by your own you are not going to repeat the words so you have to stop your repetition and second one that you must have the paragraph with a logical sequence and you must speak to the topic it should not be off the topic and whatever the ideas you are going to share with this topic your knowledge is not important your basic ideas is important but examiner is going to give you the band on your tax response your coherence and cohesion 
and your lexical resources and grammatical range and accuracy they are not going to evaluate how knowledgeable you are and how you have great knowledge so you should deserve nine no this is not the case because it is all about english language proficiency level so you need to understand about it better this is one link that we have shared with you in the video and you can also download the link and you can get the pdf file of it and one more thing in whenever you're writing try to introduce sentence structures like simple sentence structures compound and complex introduce best of the idiomatic expression phrases and uh, uh, verb agreement noun agreement and four vocabulary four part of vocabularies are very important you should know well about your noun about your uh, main verbs about your adjectives about your adverbs these are a basic part of improving your vocabulary and you must improve your phrases and synonym is a very nice one and synonym is going to help you a lot you should not put your eye out of this topic and here i would like to tell you one more thing whenever you're writing you can start having your practice with a pencil and eraser if it is your paper best test and also remember important note that when you start writing you may not score well but if you continue writing again and again the time will come you can find a better improvement in your writing so thank you so much and i shared you brief note and ideas i didn't want to uh, give long speech on the video because i understand about your time thank you so much for watching this video and if you need any uh, notes please contact us and we have given a whatsapp number and visit our website there are assessment corner you can appear the test um, we always appreciate the mock test and then uh, there are a few downloads related to the topic you can have it also please like share and subscribe our channel 